Alright guys, so next up we're going to be taking a look at a very important panel and the next tab down in the Lumetri color panel and that is the curves. And we're going to be taking a look at a very cool strategy that I know how to actually get the most out of the curves panel with and that is going to be the S strategy. That might sound like the, you know, the randomest thing to you in the world right now. By all means, it should, to be fair, and it will make a lot of sense in a second <laughs> when I give you a hands-on demonstration. But let's quickly go over here to the creative, and I'm just going to go ahead and turn that to none, and turn the film, fade to film down just so we have our basic base image right here. So it actually has not been graded to any extent. And let's go ahead and both click on the curves together, and the curves is actually going to be how we can sort of level up this image without, you know, doing the tradition of sliding a slider either way, okay? And the reason I say that is because what we can do here is perform the S strategy and actually perform the S strategy in a way that we amplify and bring out colors and an intensity of colors that we did not realize were actually able to be brought out before. For example, what I want you guys to do is go to this first square right here. So this first square that's here and just go ahead to down here. Okay, so the bottom left of this first mini square as part of this grid. Okay, it's a four by four grid, four squares at the top, four squares at the bottom. And I just want you to go right here. Okay, so it's kind of like the middle meeting point of that bottom square. And I want you guys to bring that up, hold, drag and bring up. And I want you guys to do it. Um, almost more than it looks like it needs. For example, my face now here is looking quite overexposed and, you know, that is traditionally not the greatest thing in the world. So why have we done that? Well, the reason we've done that is to actually bring out those colors so that we can now level those colors out by performing the part two of the S strategy. And that is right. If you figured it out already, you're very smart. If not, don't worry. I want to direct your attention down to about here. And I want you guys to click drag and bring that down to essentially the same point to start creating the S. And we might even actually go up here and start bringing that down a little bit as well, just to create this somewhat apparent S. And if you weren't seeing it already, let me spell it out for you. It is following down here and creating somewhat of an S shape. And the S shape is a almost universal way to actually use the curves in a way that is going to get the most out of the whites and then also the blacks, which is what these two sides represent. Okay, so the darkness in your image would be this one. For example, if we tweak this, we have, you know, nothing there and it's just the only light bit, which is my hand. Um, and likewise, if we were to tweak um, this all the way and not have this underneath, we would just be bringing out all the lights here, even though this does create some sort of craziness here. But overall, if I'm just undoing everything there, my favorite method when I'm actually using with the curves and uh, dibbling and dabbling with the curves is to perform this S strategy by simply coming to this point right here, dragging that up, coming down here and actually dragging that just below, below the line so that we are creating a very nice cinematic grade. And if we turn this off, you can see how much flatter the image is, just like it was much flatter before we'd put a look on there. And we've actually drawn in focus and overall brought color and richness out of this image. You can see it's it's quite a basic look right there. Definitely looks more like a camera has captured this and you'd be quite aware of that fact even though obviously any video is going to be something that a camera has captured. But if we're making this more cinematic and, um, and overall sucking you into it a little bit more, we would do something like this which is a color grade to actually make those colors pop and just get much more of them. You see, even the shadows below my eyes are quite easily overlooked and then if we were to turn on a base a color grade like this, you can instantly start seeing light patterns even better. And um, with the RGB curves, by all means, personally, I tend to stick to just doing a general curve with the S-line strategy. You can go out of the, you know, out of the box with this one and mess around, but this is a universally accepted kind of strategy right here, and it is dubbed the S strategy because of just giving you the best kind of example. And for example, um, if we're to turn this off, go up here and actually just put this back on so you can see this is quite similar actually to this right here. So if that right there is obviously the LUT, the, the built-in LUT. If we turn that off and turn this on, it's not that far off to how our curves, simply by doing an S strategy, is actually giving us. That's because it's grading those colors to improve them. In fact, 
we could go over here to the creative panel, just go ahead and turn that off. And once we've done a basic S strategy, we could actually go here to creative and just start pulling up stuff, for example, like the vibrance and for example, like the fade to film to actually start bringing our image to be more even, you know, similar to that original LUT that we added to our image in the first place. And that for me at least is an amazing, amazing way of leveling up these colors and getting the most out of your image because that's for me is what it's about. Once you've got that color correction out the way of just leveling everything out, you want to come in with either a really nice LUT or a look, e.g. all of these or a downloadable one like I showed you, or you guys want to come in heavy with a really nice curve and by all means I tend to stick to just the white panel here but for example there's greens in my image so I could by all means go through and start tweaking this again just using the S strategy to start pulling out more from a set color. Of course, my face is quite red right there. We could actually um, start doing the opposite of that by bringing this down and creating an opposite S to actually bring those down a little bit and be kind of settling out the colors that we don't want and pulling up to amplify and improve the colors and the color schemes that we do want displayed within our image. But that, in a nutshell, is the curves panel and the curves tab of the Lumetri color panel and a really nice strategy aka the S strategy for going about creating a really nice curve color grade.